فإذا قالوها if they say لا إله إلا الله عصموا مني دماءهم وأموالهم إلا بحقها وحسابهم على الله he say if they declare that there is none worthy of worship in truth but Allah he say عصموا مني they will be safe from me دماءهم من the blood and likewise wa amwalihim and their wealth he say illa bi haqqiha except what is due right from it except what is due right from it whether from the blood or from the wealth he say wa hisabuhum ala allah and their reckoning is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if they say la ilaha illa allah طيب their, their reckoning is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now the question is I'm coming to you. The question is هل المجرد اللفظ بلا اله الا الله او النطق بلا اله الا الله هذا يهتمنا هناك Is it just to say لا اله الا الله what is important here but rather one must bring both the conditions and likewise the pillars of لا اله الا الله and we will revise it real quick now madam He say is this hadith general or specific? What do you mean? Very good. And when we were talking about the condition of jihad, number one, one of the first one of the first condition of jihad is that it has to be under the under the ruler that's number one. it has to be declared by the ruler well before that al jihad yanqasim ila qismayni you have two types of jihad awwalan jihad al talab aywa the jihad al difa' jihad al talab wa jihad al difa' and we went extensively in regard to the issue of jihad by the book the risala is 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 like compilation right like sharh sharh rasail but here it is in in this one it is dealing with a lot of issues and one of them was jihad and we dealt with it when we talked about the meaning of jihad when we talked about the anwa al jihad al al khamsa We talked about these things barakallahu feek. So al jihad yanqasim ila qismayni. Jihad al talab wa jihad al difa'. In the jihad likewise you have jihad that is fardu ayn and the jihad that is fardu kifaya. For you this is taking us back to that but ala kull to answer that here number one, man al qail Who was the one that was saying this hadith? The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And he was the he was the ruler. He was the one that has the, the ability to declare jihad. But not like the people of Radan. Like a person on his corner, a group on his corner, la wakalla. Not like Afradan like, you know, anybody want to do what they want to do and say, well, the Prophet say umir to an an uqatil an-nas. Are you the prophet? Are you the leader? No, you're not. So here, this hadith barakallah, it is applicable. Now we're talking about what type of jihad we're talking about in here. If we're talking about the jihad of talab, that this is has condition. Number one, you have to have the izn waliyul amr. Number two, right? That's the call of the waliyul amr. Yes. permission ibn al-walidayni that you have the have the permission of both parents or yani the parents you cannot fight jihad without your parents authorizing you to do so 
Even mm. after the wali, the wali al-amr commands it. You mm. yet have to go seek permission from your, from your parents. You remember on the book we were reading it. I don't think I have the book here in the, in the, in, in the office. Sheikh Fawazan, the question ask, the question I ask him, Ya Sheikh, my father, he claimed that he needs me. My father claims that he needs me. That's why he doesn't allow me to go to jihad. And he has ten sons. Right? He has he said, My father has ten sons. And he refused to let me go fight jihad. The Shia tell him, if your father had a hundred sons, if he say, don't go, don't go. So it is not about the emotions. It is not about, no, it is, you have to have the permission of the parents. Now these kids go into Syria, sneaking in the borders, going to Syria, of Yani uh, saying that you're going to Guatemala, and by the time you know you are in Syria, you got some kids, Barakallah, we heard in, in, in Philadelphia and the likes of those areas that Akhi wanted, they were perpetrating in going to Syria and the likes of this. To the point that some of the brothers has to warn them, if you don't stop this, we're going to inform the, youth, the authorities. So now look at this. Your parents, they did not, Barakallah, Fikum, authorize you to do so. And who is the Wali al Amr to declare it? Is it al-Baghdadi? Is it al-Baghdadi? Who is the Muslim ruler? A Muslim ruler that is, that is, that is hiding? A Muslim ruler that is hiding? He is not going to know Salatul Jum'ah. Huh? He is not seen in Salatul Jama'ah. <laughs> no Salatul Jum'ah. Which Muslim ruler is this? You are in you are you know always you know between hiding posts. Always between hiding posts. Tonight you spend the night in here, next night you spend the night in you know maybe five hundred miles away, whatever the case might be. So what type of Muslim ruler is that? Allah calling. So inshallah I advise my brothers to go and revise their notes in regard to those that we study. In regard to Al Jihad by Sheikh Salih Al Fawzan Hafizahullah. Ish? Yes, I'm, I'm coming to it. So he said, Hatta yaqulu la ilaha illallah until they say la ilaha illallah. So he is saying la ilaha illallah. It is not just saying la ilaha illallah, but rather to bring the meaning of la ilaha illallah. To bring the condition of la ilaha illallah. And to bring about Barakallah Fikum the pillars of La ilaha illallah. Right? So the condition of La ilaha illallah, they are come. Abu Sufyan. Eight. Come in. And go ahead, go ahead. Knowledge. You're going to speak. Are you going to speak English or Arabic or French? English. Okay. Knowledge. Sincerity. Certainty, submission, acceptance, love. Ah, kufr bi taghur. Yes, disbelieving in the false deities. Ahsant. Truthfulness. Ahsant. Very good. Truthfulness. Anybody in Arabic? Abdul Abu Zura. In Arabic. Fadl. Al ilm. Wal sidq. Wal ikhlas. Wal mahabba. والقبول كفر بالتاغوت والانقياض واليقين يقين يقين don't you want to help your brother خلاص then he's helping you والانقياض يا سامبلا بيري مارو فضل العلم الصدق المحبة اليقين الاقياد الشرك الكفر بالتاغوت الكفر بالتاغوت المحبة what are the two more he need to say 
العلم الصدق المحبة اليقين الانقياد كفر بالتاغوت الإخلاص الإخلاص بقي لك واحد يقين so that was al yaqeen was your eighth one but ala kullin you did very good anybody was in english aba munira arabic is better inshallah al ilm al yaqeen al ikhlas aba asma العلم. This, these are the things that listen. There is no excuse. Nobody should be saying it in English neither. We should all memorize it in Arabic. No, serious, serious, serious. I mean, the condition of La ilaha illallah. Ahi, this is one of the first things that the Salafi is to memorize. Huh? That's the, alhamdulillah, I mean, you know, it's, it's something to memorize, barakallahu fi. And it's very easy. Look at those things that the heart do. Divide it like that. Look at those actions that the heart do. Certain action is the heart. Right? Divide it like that. For instance, you have, what does the heart do? You have, Al-Ikhlas Al-Ilm Al-Yaqeen Al-Siddiq Al-Mahabba You have Al-Qubul And you have all six that the heart do Easy You have six those that the heart do And Al-Inqiyad Right? Where the person Barakallahu Fikum He does what? He submit Meaning by way of your actions also Al-Kufru bi-Taghut Disbelieving in the In the false deities So you put it like this It will be very easy Sincerity Right What else Knowledge, knowledge. Before, No I, I'm going to make it easy on, 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 on him You have sincere Knowledge Bam Because you need knowledge for everything in the religion Put it that way You need knowledge for every single thing in the religion أما علم الضروري أو علم النظري you need that knowledge right that's on the side you have love right you have to have sincerity you have to have certainty meaning all of this is the barakallah the heart is doing it you cannot be having doubt about la ilaha illallah you can't be having no yani, lack of ikhlas while you say it so taking it like this, it will be a very easy to memorize, inshallah ta'ala. Amma the pillars, it is off too. Easy. The pillars you have? Huh? Negation and affirmation. Negation and affirmation. So, hatta yaqulu until they will say, la ilaha illallah, meaning bring it about all of these things that we have mentioned. فَإِذَا قَالُوهَا If they say it, Asamu minni and they will be free from me, meaning their blood and their wealth will be will be free from me, meaning it will be sacred now from that point on. He say illa bi haqiha except what is do right from it. Wahisa buhum ala Allah and their reckoning is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaykh Saad al-Fawdan Hafizahullah, he say, he say, فَلَا يَعْصِمُ الْمَالِ وَالْدَّمْ إِلَّا التَّوْحِيد He say, nothing will make the wealth and the blood sacred except Tawheed. He say, nothing will make the blood and the wealth except, uh, sacred except at Tawheed, except singling out Allah in His actions. Oh, in our action, ma'adhir. Except singling out Allah in our actions. Because here, illa tawheed, al-murad bi tawheed huna, tawheedu al-uluhiyya. What is intended here is, tawheedu al-uluhiyya. 
لشيخ حفظه الله سيئا ما الشرك فإنه يبيح الدم والماء